Today we'll take a look at the top 10 free tools to use for game development, including tools to make art, code and music for your games and help you to organize your projects. Number 10. Tiled. Tiled is a free map editor for Windows, Linux and Mac OS which you can use to create tile maps for your games. You can make tile maps in the isometric, orthogonal and hexagonal perspective. Tiled also allows you to organize your objects in different layers. For example, you can make a ground layer, a layer for obstacles and walls, and one for monsters and NPCs. Once you're happy with the tile map you created, you can import it into a game engine like Unity, or even use it in a game you've made from scratch. For example, I use Tiled to create maps for a game that I've made in the Python programming language, and after importing a library that can read the tile map, I can implement it into an already existing project. There will be links to download all of the tools shown in this video in the video description down below. Number 9. Audacity. Audacity is an open source audio recording software for Windows, Linux and Mac OS. You can use it to record your voice if you for example want to make voice lines for your games. After recording, you can add tons of effects. You can pitch your recording, change the speed and EQ and so much more. I'm currently recording the sound for this video using Audacity. You can also use Audacity for making sound effects. For a game jam I recorded some wooden blocks falling to the ground and then added some effects to it in Audacity so it sounds like a cracking wall. Of course, you can also record music for your games using Audacity if you play an instrument. But if you don't want to record sounds and music yourself in Audacity, there are also some tools to help you do this the easy way and they will be presented to you later in this video. Number 8. Visual Studio Code Visual Studio Code is an open source code editor for Windows, Linux and Mac OS. It is very lightweight and boots up instantly. It comes with a variety of tools to help you write code faster. For example, it features a debugger, syntax highlighting, intelligent code completion or code refactoring. Plus, it is very customizable. You can change the theme, preferences, keyboard shortcuts and install extensions for extra features. It includes basic supports for the most common programming languages out of the box. Visual Studio Code also comes with Intelligent Code Completion or short IntelliSense number 7. Trello Trello is a web-based tool for organizing your projects and collaborating with others. Inside of Trello, you can create task boards with different columns. You can write your tasks onto cards and easily move them between the different columns. To your cards, you can add due dates, checklists and categories. For example, you can add a category for programming, level designing, 3D modeling or books. This is extremely helpful if you're working in a team. Also, you can add different team members to your Trello board to work on one project with others. As mentioned earlier, it is web-based, but there is also a downloadable app for Windows, Mac and Android. A lot of game developers use it, mainly because of its simplicity and its easy to understand user interface. Number 6. Blender. Blender is an open source 3D graphics software toolset for Windows, Linux and Mac OS. You mostly use it for f making 3D models, adding textures to your 3D models, as well as rigging and animating them. But you can also create animated films and visual effects with it, and it even features a video editor. Also, it features its own game engine, but in terms of 3D modeling, you can also use it for rigging, animating, UV unwrapping, texturing, raster graphic editing, skinning, particle simulation, sculpting, and the list goes on. If you want to use it for making 3D games, it is perfect for your needs. If you want to make 2D games, however, there are also some tools that I'll be showing you later in this video. Number 5. Itch.io Itch.io isn't really a tool that helps you making games, but one that helps you publish your games in an easy and completely free way. Everybody can upload their games to the platform and customize the game page however they want. Once you've published your game, you can release devlog posts to tell people about updates for your game. You can sell your game or offer it for free. People can also donate if they like your game, rate your game and leave comments. Also, a huge amount of game jams are being hosted on itch.io every single week. If you want to participate in one, there are a lot to pick from or you can even host your own game jam. 
Number 4. Google Forms Just like itch.io, Google Forms isn't a tool designed to make video games, but it's a great and free way to get feedback. Whether your game is in early access, better, or has officially released, you can find out what your audience thinks of your game. If the controls are easy enough to understand, gather general feedback, or just a way to report bugs. With its different options, people can write a short text or answer multiple choice questions. Number 3. SFXR and Music Tools SFXR is a tool that helps you to make sound effects very easily. It uses templates. For example, there are templates for attack, hit and explosion sounds, but you can customize them to make your own ones. It's only available for Windows, but there are multiple online versions. I'll link one of them in the description below. Now onto the music creation. If you are on a Mac or Windows computer, Traction 7 might be a good option to consider. It comes with a lot of tools, for example its clever automation patterns tool. You can also customize plugins using its LFO modifier. If you use a Mac, GarageBand might already be pre-installed. It comes with a lot of virtual instruments that you can choose from. You can create melodies with the virtual MIDI keyboards or use app loops to help you. However, if you want to use something more simplistic, you can use Bosco Coil. You can either use it online in your browser or download it for Windows, Linux and Mac OS. You can easily create melodies and a bunch of virtual instruments depending on your needs. Number 2. Critter Critter is an open source 2D graphics editor for Windows, Linux and Mac OS. It can be used for both digital painting and pixel art. Critter comes with tools such as an advanced brush engine, layers and masks, vector art and color tools and animation tools. I create all of my 2D graphics in Critter and also all of my videos thumbnails. Let's move on to tool number one. Number one, Unity and Godot. Unity and Godot are both game engines for Windows, Linux and Mac OS which you can develop your games in. While Unity's personal edition is free, Godot is completely free and open source. Unity uses c as its programming language and Godot humanly uses GDScript which is similar to Python but you can also use c -Shop. The main advantage of Unity is that there are a lot of tutorials out there to help you get started with the engine, while Godot is very lightweight and can run on any device. But Unity and Godot are just two examples of game engines that you can use. There are many more good game engines out there. I will make a video comparing the top 10 game engines here on this channel in the future. As soon as it's published, I will link it in the video description and in the end card. But if you don't want to miss future game dev tip videos, Consider subscribing to this channel because I'll keep on making these types of videos. With that said, thanks for watching. Like if you liked and dislike if you didn't. Don't forget to tell me in the comments down below which tool you like the most. And then I hope I'll see you soon. Bye.